Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Villanova Wildcats and the Xavier Musketeers. Number one is a star whose team hopes he can take them to victory tonight. This kid can hit the J as well as go by you with the dribble. He's definitely a force out there. The Musketeers will undeniably have their hands full trying to put a stop to his contributions tonight, Dick. The Musketeers know this could go either way, Dick. What are the keys to their success tonight? These are the keys for me, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Finally, get your man on your hip after the shot, block out, and get after those boards. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Dump it inside. Number 20 handles the pass. Control of the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts up the tray. Drains it. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive play. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Ball goes out of bounds. in. Number 24 makes the finger roll. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student section looks like they're having a great time. He buries the shot. He's got to get rid of it. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He saw that developing. He was right there when the ball left his hand. Kicks it out. He makes a nice shot fake. Number 34 receives the pass. He takes the shot from the baseline. Way off target. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. With the freebie. He got it. Gets the second. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. There's the pick. There's the roll. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Jumper off the break. Sinks it. Number one is fired up and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. On the dribble, gives it up. And a shot block. He misses from downtown. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from downtown. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He attempts the three. He nails the shot. Get it to the inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fast break possibility coming. Number five handles the feed. Sinks the shot. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness.
looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Strips the ball. Now the other way for the bucket. He gets it to fall. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Here's a flash from the post up high. Number 34 receives the ball. Right in the circle. He misses the bomb. On the outside. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Off the rim and no good. Let's face it. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Pushing that basketball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. I tell you, there's a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Looking for a good shot. Puts it up. Way off target. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Moving it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Dumps it in. Number four fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And coming the other way on a break. Basket falls despite the contact. Trying to go inside. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Trying to feed inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. They're working around the perimeter. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Turn the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On 
the inside for the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Ten seconds to get him off. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, brother. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Leans in, and he scores despite the hack. the rejection up fake on the dribble gives it up looks at a three this guy's not looking for anybody else out there you're right Brad he's got a little too much to prove right now looking for the foul what do you think Dick they need a time out here Brad a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Musketeers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Number one comes up with it. They run it up into transition. Goes up for two. That's a 12-0 run. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He takes a three. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He goes with a baby hook. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. He'll kick it back outside. And the ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. For the bucket. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He gets the rebound. Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Way off target. Up and inside. Gave it up. 
The skip pass is picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. He up fakes. For three, Xavier on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, now to keep pushing and see if they can force a timeout. Job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That was nice. We get another look. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the outside. On the outside. Tries for two. And when this guy's going to be able to make a shot? He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. In and out. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. For two. And he missed. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. The Musketeers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Way out on top, controlling the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team. Blocks the shot. He intercepts it. Trying to draw the foul. And in and out. from long range. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Tries for two, goes in. In the paint, trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all.
Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Great play to take that to the basket. Time to pick up the defense here now. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Picked off. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, fade away. If you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more. He hit the deuce, and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Number 33 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. Cashed it in. Intercepted. Full court pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Let's it fly. Way off target. Opportunity for two for one. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Way off target. Stolen. It's a fast break possibility for the bucket. He makes the shot. Throws up the prayer. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. At the half, the Musketeers lead by nine. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Villanova coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half, Dick. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Start of the second half, Dick. Our focused player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The Wildcats may have had one of the most amazing seasons in 1985 en route to winning the 1985 National Championship. What's remarkable, Brad, is that they won as an eight seed, the lowest seed ever to win the championship. To me, that's incredible. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 34 draws the personal. 
Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Two shots. Misses the first shot. are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. They want to win just as bad as he blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Jumps into the defender. Buried it. Looking for a good shot. The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the wall, ball today, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. In and out. Good second opportunity. Tickles a twine. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Okay, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Drained it. That's a nylon in the end. Entry pass in the paint. He's got he threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. Kick it back outside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. He comes away with it. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Here's the screen up on top. 
drops the bucket despite the harm. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries for two. And in and out. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. And the fans here are loving the action. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. He shoots from the baseline. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. It's good. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solved. Side. Sets the screen for his teammate. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside for two. He shows a sweet touch. They move it into the front court. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see Blue All Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? At the free throw line. He hits it. Steals a pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's the trap. Number five is whistled for the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Villanova are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. And he got them both. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He strokes it. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. Contact Brad on a defensive player. 
jumps in. He drains the bucket. They scored 10 in a row. Interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Watch out, five second crawl approaching. A high screen for the bucket. Perfectly executed. I can watch that one again all night long. the shot he shoots from left of the circle no good and has it rejected defense did a great job with that blocked shot look at the student section dick Chip and has it rejected defense did a great job with that blocked shot dick he's really sticking to his man defensively down there i think doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot Playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Takes away the pass with a long bomb. Villanova have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. <laughs> Tries for two. Doesn't go. They're working around the perimeter. Way out on top, he makes the block. He nails the bucket. The Musketeers are ahead by five. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. With a deep pass. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Villanova's only championship came in 1985 when they defeated the likes of higher seeds. They went through Michigan, Maryland, North Carolina, and of course, then it was Georgetown in the final. Hey, Brown, those teams were tough that year, too. That team peaked at the right time. Fakes a jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. the inside looking for contact basket falls despite the contact looking for a good shot his shot blocked from behind he set him up nicely Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he scores it off the glass. With a little baby hook. And he missed Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. I got space 
Defense. Pump fakes. Open inside. Top of the circle. Dreams it. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He puts it up, way off target. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the sixth man for no reason. He's got a high post flasher. He puts up the tray. He drains it. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's the pick. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Watch out, Nick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Unloads. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. He launches a three. Oh, yes. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For two, good. How do you slow these guys up? They've got to start hitting some shots on their own. The power forward with the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Three. Oh, yes. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win. I guarantee it. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. In the paint. The student body is rocking tonight. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at it. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Blocks it. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries to get the D to bite. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. The point guard takes the feed. He shoots. He gets the bucket to fall. For two, they still don't score. The shooting guard takes the pass. He gets it to go. This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. 
The shooting guard gets the ball. Not there. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Picked off. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. The center gets the pass for the deuce. The Musketeers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That ball movement, get that good spacing. In the paint. Tries for two. Can't get it to go. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He strokes it. Rims out. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. It's good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He lets it fly. He hits the shot. Cue the rewind button, boys. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. That makes it a four point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Got some room. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball, and let him try to beat us. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Here's a double team. Steal. They come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. And working around the perimeter. Great defense. He tries the three ball. He drains the shot. We're about ready to start things up again. He 
shoots from the top of the circle. And he's no good from downtown. And now it's just a matter of, isn't it a clock management here? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by follow Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Up and in. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Wide, short, long, doesn't matter, doesn't go. If they want a chance to win, they really need a bucket here. Number five wants the crowd to get fired up and involved. He's asking for a bit more in the next possession. They continue to foul to stop the clock. With the free one. Sinks it. Second one, good. Shoots from the top of the key. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. On the outside. He posterized it. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Off the mark with a shot. Xavier found themselves in a heck of a battle before pulling away at the end. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. <laughs>